All right, Homestead know how life is good, so we got the push mower out. It's not wanting to stay running, so we've took the cover off for the carburetor, and we're going to take the top off for this. And what we've done is basically we took this off so I could get to this easier, and then I've took brake parts cleaner, and I filled the bowl up back in there, dumped it out, filled it up again, dumped it out, filled it up one more time, and then we put the top back on, All right, I'm gonna get my son to hold it. I'll hold it right here and we're gonna show him what we've done. All right, so I put the top back on. I gotta put the screws back in it. If I can find the hole, which I ain't doing earlier. I found it just right off. You don't have to get so close. All right, so we'll put these back in and I'll show you what we've done. What I did is I basically choked it with my hand and my fingers. And the brake, reason why I use brake parts cleaner to a starting fluid is the brake parts cleaner will actually clean the jets if they're gummed in the carburetor. So I'm going to tighten these back down. Now some motors you might not have to take the top off of. Alright, so we got that tightened down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray some brake parts cleaner back in here. Alright, now back up. And then I'm going to have them start it. sure when you're working on it you don't stick your fingers up underneath the edge if it's running it's best to let it die all the way out that way you don't get your fingers chopped off all right so we'll take this back out the only reason i'm taking this back off is because it's easier to get the carburetor cover back on and to get the lines hooked up All right, so we'll take that off, dump that screw out. All right, back up just a little bit. All right, so this goes back on and it has to plug in right here. So like so. And then it's got a little teat right here that goes in this hole. Line it up. All right, and then you've got, I'll keep hold of it. You got two screws. One that goes there. Get it started. And you got one that goes right in here. These are always the fun ones because you can't get your fingers in there. See? And it keeps falling off the socket. So. And it did it again. Uh, yep. Let's see if I can. If I can get lucky or not here. I could probably do it. Yeah, but I don't want you to get your fingers in here and all this brake parts cleaner and stuff. All right, let's try to see if we can go a little slower at it. And it fell off again. It's just wanting to fall out. All right. <clears throat> all right, I got it in the hole. I'm going to try to hold it with my finger. And I'm going to try to put the socket. All right. Bingo! Alright, so we're going to tighten that back down. <coughs> I don't have to get so close to it. Back 
couple of this and see what I'm doing. All right, so we'll get these tightened down. And then you've got two other little screws, which is a different size socket. And they go right here in these little holes. Yeah, I know. Is uh, our neighbors got the tractor out? No, not ours. No, their tractor. Yeah, they got, they got. The red one. So I guess they got the I guess they got the Massey Ferguson fixed then. All right, and this one goes down here on the bottom. You take your fingers and just turn the socket all right now we'll put the top back on and the size of the uh, bolts and stuff may vary depending on the mower that you have you know and you might not have to take the top off and this one we did and this can be a common problem if you're running 10 percent ethanol gas in your small engines and it's any small engine Usually the jets get clogged if it sets, but if you take and put some stabil or if you just start it once a week in the winter time, you can save yourself a lot of headache. And this mower hasn't been started in probably a year and a half because I don't really use it because I use my Ferris IS700Z zero turn. And it's got a pop tire. And right now it's got a flat tire, so I'm using the neighbor's boat of tractor with a finished mower. But uh, other buddy of mine come by to take the tire where he works, see if he can get it fixed. And so we're doing this until he gets back. I got a cap. I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave that off for right now. And we'll take and put a little bit of brake part clean in there. Back up a little bit so I can start it. Hopefully. Sometimes it don't. Let's see. I'll start again.